Hello, beautiful creatures of the world, and welcome back to Coffee with Carrie Lynn. We are underneath the meditation and wellness tent because we don't know if it, it's going to rain or not rain. Is the clouds going to burn off? Is the sun going to come out? Who knows? It's a mystery, just like today's show here in the far north of Maine, up along the Canadian border in the crown of Maine. I hope everyone is having a nice, warm, sunny summer day. Wherever you may be, I hope you're having a day filled with fabulosity. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to Conspiracy Theory Tuesday here on Coffee with Carrie Lynn. We are currently looking for President Joe Biden, just like we looked for Waldo. Remember Where's Waldo? Your kids had the books and you had to find Waldo in the book. We're looking for President Biden, just like we used to look for Waldo in the books with our children. Whole damn place is falling apart. You may hear construction in the background. That is my studio being built. My contractor is here today. I do believe he's on lunch break right now. But if you hear construction work, that is the fiber podcast studio that is being built because soon I will no longer be relegated to running my small fiber business out of a small corner of my kitchen. And I will no longer be relegated to podcasting out of that small corner of my kitchen. I will be in a slightly larger place, <laughs> slightly larger. I am also right next door to the chicken coop. We have a fox running around so the chickens cannot free range today and they are not happy. But uh, yeah, we had a fox sniffing around last night. I saw the motion lights go off took a peek outside and there was a dang fox. So we're keeping the birds safe today. And uh, while they're not happy, they may squawk on the video. Let's get to today's show because it's absolutely crazy. I was going to bring you guys um, all the drama that's going on at the Conjuring House in Rhode Island. We were going to talk about that today. Uh, but Finding President Biden seems to be a little more important than that. Tons of drama going on at, at the Conjuring House between the new owner and the employees that she's not paying. It's absolutely crazy what's going on at the Conjuring House in Rhode Island. I'm from Rhode Island, so it's a big deal to me. It may not be a big deal to you, but I do like talking about the paranormal. I like talking about mysteries, the unexplained all of that good stuff, and it's just wild what's going on. Drama, drama, drama in the paranormal world yet again. Today, let's get to the Joe Biden situation. I have a timeline. Cheat sheets. I have a timeline for the last time Joe Biden was seen was on Wednesday, July 17th. And he was last seen disembarking Air Force One. So President Biden experiences a medical situation in Las Vegas, which just turned everything on its head in Vegas. Turns out he had COVID. That's what they, they're telling us. However, what ended up happening was President Biden was, I'm just going to do the facts. You guys want to comment in the comment section what you think is going on. Please feel free. I, I love conspiracy theories. I love hearing what other people uh, believe is going on. I love getting extra tidbits of information that other people have that I don't have at my fingertips because this situation is changing minute to minute in this country. And it's very difficult to keep up with all the stories at once. So if you have information I don't have and you want to share it in the comment section below, please feel free to share. So we last see President Biden disembarking Air Force One in Maryland. Now he is very unsteady as he walks down the plane steps. He can barely navigate them. Go look at the footage. Just Google it. The footage is everywhere. All the major news media outlets have the footage. It's on YouTube. So just go find it because I don't use other people's video or footage in my videos. It's just a thing. It's a personal preference. It's how I do it. He goes to Johns Hopkins Hospital instead of Bethesda. 
So why is he in a private hospital and not in the military hospital that takes care of the president generally? No one sees Joe Biden after he leaves the plane. To this minute, no one has seen Joe Biden. July 21st, after a lot of whispers around uh, the water cooler saying that a campaign resignation letter will be coming out or an announcement will be coming out on Sunday, July 21st, a letter of campaign resignation is delivered through a tweet on President Biden's ex-Twitter Twix, whatever the hell you want to call it, a copy of the letter having President Biden resign was posted on social media. There was no formal announcement to the citizens of the United States of America. There was no conference. There was no media around. It was just put onto his Twitter X tweet thing that he has resigned, and you can go look at that letter on Joe Biden's X account. Now, what's wrong with the letter? People are really upset that the letter is not on official Joe Biden letterhead. It's not on the presidential letterhead. It's not on his official letterhead. It's just not. So that has people very, very upset. The other strange thing people have noticed about the letter is that there is a strange signature that is not attributed to President Biden's signature. Looks nothing like his signature. I don't know. Your, your guess is as good as mine. Comment in the comment section below. On July 22nd, this is yesterday, Monday, Camilla, Kamala, whatever the hell she calls herself, accepts Joe Biden's endorsement. She has a press conference. And during the press conference, supposedly, Joe Biden calls in. And what is really bothering people is the fact that Camilla Harris was, I guess, thanking Joe Biden for calling in, but she accidentally almost said, thank you for being on the Rick calling call. She almost said recording. So what is going on? This has people wild. They have played that footage all over alternative media, or as I like to say, truth fact media. They've played it all over independent media, and she literally does almost say re recording, okay? So that is just some of the wild stuff that is going on surrounding the disappearance of the president. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the stuff conspiracies are made of. Now, facts. Bibi Netanyahu arrived in the United States. I believe it was yesterday and no one met his plane at the airport. There was no president to greet him. There was no U.S. delegation to greet him. This is kind of the protocol thing. Chucky Schumer didn't even show up to greet him. Nobody. Zip zero nada. And it was, you know, Bibi was not, uh, not happy about this. He didn't get his presidential greeting. So again, we're adding another layer onto where is President Biden and why can't we see him? People are actually at this point calling for signs of life. They want to see signs of life for the president of the United States of America. It gets worse. World leaders are now trying to contact Donald Trump. They don't want to deal with the Biden administration. They want to deal with former President Donald Trump at this moment, who can do nothing for them at this moment. 
but they do not want to deal with the Biden administration at all. They want to speak to Donald Trump. So who's running the country, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world? Who the hell knows at this point? It's it's crazy and it's wild. And we've had a wild nine or 10 days in the public political sphere. It's just been absolutely incredible since former President Donald Trump was shot in the ear, the attempted assassination of him. Now, I know people are going to get riled about this, but we really do need to know where President Biden is for many reasons, because we need to know that he is, with his COVID, still capable of running our country, because nobody seems to know who is in charge. We need more than voice recordings. We need more than seeing him coming off of a plane. We need more than doctor reports saying that they have him all uh, drugged up, you know, all the drugs that they're throwing at him to fight the COVID and that he is in good standing. We don't know this. We absolutely do not know this. Nobody, nobody from the Biden family is coming out and saying, Joe's okay. Uh, First Lady Jill Biden, we haven't heard from her. We haven't heard from the troublemaking kid. We did hear from Joe Biden's brother. And he came out and said, made a statement that he wants to see his brother. This is not a quote. This is loose. Okay. He wants to see his brother before it's too late. And The media and the Biden administration turned it around on him and said, don't, don't listen to him. He's a drunk. He's an alcoholic. You don't know what he's talking about, which is fueling more of the conspiracy theories that are being formed, uh, by the second here in the United States of America. So who's running the country? We do not know. Now, whenever I talk about President Biden, we have people that go wild on here. There's Trump derangement syndrome and there's Biden derangement syndrome and they are absolutely a thing. But the reason why we need to find President Biden, we need to know if he's alive. We need to know if he's taken a stroke. We need to know if he's recovering from COVID is because of the shenanigans of the Democrat Party. The reason why everybody wanted Joe Biden to stay in Because for him to drop out means he's not capable of running the country either. If you can't run a campaign, you cannot run the country. Why is this important that he stayed in? I had a a show riding with Joe Biden and everybody got pissed off because they didn't didn't listen. They didn't put their listening ears on. It's a matter of legalities. What's going on right now is that Democratic Party is breaking laws to try to put a new candidate in. As the law in Nevada, and I do believe Wisconsin stands, as long as Joe Biden remains as president or is alive, they are not allowed to run anyone else on the Democratic ticket in those two states, which is a big deal. It's a big deal for the campaign. So either in Nevada or I believe Wisconsin, I'm sure somebody will correct me in the comment section, but please feel free. We want accurate information here, not what I can and can't remember. Um, In order for him to get off of the ticket in those two states and for them to put a different candidate on the ticket, either Joe Biden has to be not with us anymore or they have to use the 25th Amendment to get him out to put any other candidate for the Democratic Party on the ticket, which is a big deal. The other big deal is the backroom deals, the, um, the, not, the not having the knowledge of who they're really going to run. There seems to be a big, uh, a big to-do going on behind the scenes in the Democratic Party, and it seems to involve whispers of the Obama camp and the Clinton camp. And there is a warring faction going on behind the scenes. This is another important reason why 
we needed to keep Joe Biden on the ticket. Um, because clearly he was never going to win against Trump. I don't think Kamala Harris is going to, Kamala, Camilla, whatever she calls herself, is going to win against Trump either. Honestly, I don't think anybody that they put up is going to win against Trump. However, however, what's going on to get a new candidate into place? What's going on to get the $280 million campaign war chest is happening illegally. And that is what is important. And that is what my video riding with Joe Biden was all about. And um, when you start breaking these laws, when you start flouting the Constitution and how our election system was set up with the laws and the safeguards, when you start picking and choosing, just like people pick and choose Bible, Bible verses, right? When you start picking and choosing which one of the commandments you're going to follow. Well, when you start picking and choosing what campaign laws you're going to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, communists are running this country. And most Democrats don't even realize it. And a lot of Republicans don't realize it either. Because like I said before. For all the people that just hear the name Donald Trump and spaz out on that side, there is an equal amount that just hear the name Joe Biden and how he should stay in the campaign and they spaz out on this side. When the fact is you don't want them breaking the rules and the regulations. You don't want them skirting the Constitution. You don't want them doing what they damn well please to put whatever person they want in because the person they picked will not win against their competitor. You don't want these things. Communists are running the country. That's all I have to say about it. And it's very frightening and it's very scary. And it is very dangerous. While we live in exciting times and we are living through historical times, it is very dangerous for the citizens of the United States of America right now. And a lot of people do not realize this. Whatever's going on in D.C., whatever we're not privy to, whatever lady or gentleman is pulling the levers behind the curtain, Whatever Wizard of Ozidry is actually going on, it is very dangerous for you, for me, for your family, and for my family right now. Look at history. This is a huge echo of what has happened in the past. This is a huge echo of the fall of the Roman Empire. This is a huge echo of the past in our country itself. When our country split apart uh, during the Civil War, when our country was being founded and we were breaking away from the monarchy in England. So we all have to be ready and be prepared for things to get really wild and really dicey. And if you're on the Republican side of the fence, don't worry if you hear the name Biden, okay? Don't worry about what is going to happen with Kamala Harris. Worry about what's happening way behind the scenes, deep in the thicket of politics. And if you have Trump derangement syndrome, don't worry about the word Trump being mentioned. It's what's happening deep in the thicket of politics that you and I are not privileged to know about. That's what matters. That's what makes life right now in the United States of America when other presidents and heads of other countries no longer want to deal with the administration in the United States of America. They want to deal with the man right now who is not in control of anything, will not be in control of anything until after the election. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, if you have any guesses as to where Uncle Joe might be hiding, 
and why he is hiding there, feel free to talk in the comment section below. And I love to hear everybody's theories. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful creatures of the world, get some extra groceries, grow a garden, learn a skill, but above all, carpe diem, seize your day because no one promised you a tomorrow.